usually rent my books from uh, Check.com, and I've bought a few of my books from Barnes and Nobles. Although the book prices tend to be more on the higher side, it makes up for in the convenience. You have it right there, you can get your book instantly, and they always have the book that you need from mm -hmm. the professors. They're very good about that. They've had everything I need, and if they haven't, they've been very quick about getting it and getting the book into me within less than a week. So I have a class schedule that I just hand to them, and they just tell me what books to buy. I don't think I've actually looked up what books I'm supposed to have. Mm. I trust the Barnes and Nobles people. Yeah. They're all really nice. <laughs> Wait, Wait, <let's> do <laughs> founded by a student who wanted to get more money for his textbooks, so I really feel like we take care of the students. I mean, what's the percentage? It varies completely. Uh, it's based on supply and demand per book. So, there's two ways that we can buy textbooks. The first one is really obvious, we'll give you cash for your book. The second one is what's called our Advantage Program, um, and basically it's consignment. What we'll, we'll do is we'll take your books and we'll sell them to the next student for you. Um, and at all times, the books will remain yours, so if you ever decide that you don't want it to be on here anymore, that you want it back, you can just come and take it. That's totally fine. Um, we'll sell your books online, so they'll be on Amazon, eBayHalf.com, basically anywhere that you can sell stuff online. Uh, and we'll sell internationally, so just because USF isn't using like Red Eye and Nick Walter's pre -cal book next semester doesn't mean that some other country or some other college someplace isn't going to be using it or somebody else doesn't want to buy it. What we do with Advantage is you get 85% of what we can sell the book for, and 90% of the books that we sell on Advantage do sell. So there's a really good chance that you're going to get it sold. And the best times to buy and sell books are basically the beginning and the end of the semesters because that's when the most business will come through. So if you're looking to sell off a book, um, you're probably better off coming in at the end of the semester, so like right now, 